This is a brand new Frog Togs Poncho. It is uh, 44 inches wide, 40 inches in length, and it's made of polypropylene. It has a weight of 4 ounces. or 116 grams. don't know if you can see it but it has been raining today really for the last two days it's uh, 4th of July so happy Independence Day and um, I thought it would be a good time for me to do this video that I've been planning on doing for a few months now it's uh, really hard to find a video that hasn't already been done on YouTube and I believe I have found one um, so that video is the multiple uses of a frog togs poncho and I'm not going to get into the um, setup of each way it can be used but I will display it the way that I've come up it can be used and then if you would like to see it actually uh, me go through the steps to get there then you can leave a comment and let me know so this is a view of the woods that I'm in. It's uh, been raining. You can see everything's wet. I have a Frog Togs poncho on that I've had now for four years. It goes with me every time I go backpacking, which is on average of two weekends a month. Two overnight weekends a month. Backwoods camping. It's been taken in and out of my pack hundreds of times and it's seen maybe close to a thousand miles maybe even more than a thousand miles um, in numerous backpacking forms people dog these all the time and I've never understood why they always claim that they are uh, they're not very resistant to tears I've never torn one uh, which brings me to another thing I actually have uh, one frog togs and every one of my kits so my day pack my overnight packs two and every one of my vehicles so I have two in my truck two in my car two in my ATV and I've never tore one I've been using them for over four years now so I'm not sure where they're coming up with that uh, all the all the hiking that I do is backwoods hiking just like this if you notice the only trail is this game trail right here this is private land. Um, I also hike at Red River Gorge. Um, I go on a lot of unofficial trails there. So um, I've got some experience with these. And over the years I've come up with many, many ways to use them. And therefore it's kind of hard to not uh, justify not having it in your kit. For the simple fact you can get them at Walmart for around $6.00. And you can get them off of Amazon for more. But if you have Prime, that's free shipping. And uh, if you, like me, live two mile or two hour round trip from the nearest Walmart, then uh, that little bit extra at Amazon Prime might not be uh, that big of a deal when you can stay at home and not have to go out and waste the gas money and the time to go get one. So uh, hopefully you find this review helpful. I didn't see anybody else that had done this on Facebook or YouTube so okay obviously with the uh, frog togs poncho um, this is the intended usage of them as a poncho it is raining right now I'm warm matter of fact I'm a little sweaty it's 
probably about 75 degrees outside. Um, so not only am I using it as a poncho, I'm also using it as a pack cover. You will notice you can't see my arms, but there are areas to stick your arms through. I just have found that it's best to pull them in if it's raining inside. And that'll keep your arms dry too. So the side of these they have clips. There's two. So here you have the side. Take this hat off. Now it's buttoned up, which creates this like armhole. Then if you want to keep your arms dry, all you have to do is pull it inside like so. Another use of the Frog Togs Poncho is as a pack cover. So basically you stick your pack down inside, go up through the hooded part, the carry strap that's usually in your pack or the loop you can hang that on a tree tuck this over it your pack is covered all the way around now another thing i've done too when i hammock camp is i run my whoopee slings through the loop and then around the tree with the frog togs poncho on it and then that way i don't have to worry about the pack being underneath the hammock tarp even if it starts raining or there's blowing rain the backpack will be covered all the way around. Another use of a frog togs poncho, let's assume for a minute that you've got lost in the woods and it's getting to be nighttime. And um, you can also use it as a temporary shelter. So you put it on like a normal poncho and basically just sit down, then tuck it in around you. Another use of a frog togs poncho would be as a windbreak. You can simply string it between two trees, either horizontally or vertically, and using minimal cordage. On this end, I just tied to a small branch. And on this end, I used a piece of cordage, maybe foot and a half, two foot long, so a shoestring would work. And then you could then weight it down with the rocks on the other corners and create a windbreak. Yet another way to use it as a windbreak that I'm not going to be able to do and actually set up and show you, but I can tell you about it, is if you're out camping in a hammock, you can unfold it like I've got it here, put it inside the hammock, then lay all of your insulating layers on top of it. That will also serve as a windbreak. And another way I'm not going to be able to tell you how to do it is if you're in a hammock and you're using, say, a three-quarter closed cell foam pad as your insulation and your feet get cold, you can wrap this around your feet and your feet will warm up very quickly. Because you can string it up like this, you know you could also string up the other two corners too and make an overhead shelter. This hole that's in the center is actually where the head goes and there's enough material there that folded over that hole would be closed up. So even if you made it as a shelter or a windbreak you can't close that off. Some additional uses of a frog togs poncho. You can use it as a layer between you and the roof in a debris shelter. You can roll it up into a ball and use it as a pillow. You can lay it on the ground and use it as ground cloth. You can use it as a water container to collect water 
out of a stream or a pond. Basically what you do is you uh, place it in the water with a rock and then pull it up by the four corners and you'll have around a quart, maybe two quarts of water that you can then filter and further process. You can use it for rain collection in kind of the same fashion. You have to be able to suspend the corners in some way or possibly dig a hole in the ground and do it that way. Lay it on the ground with the corners up. And the final method I'm going to describe works extremely very well. Um, if you get cold, you can actually take your shirt off and put the frog togs poncho on and then your clothing over top of it and you will be sweating hot even in temperatures down to zero degrees. I've actually done that. Uh, we all know that the weatherman isn't always accurate and on a uh, hiking camp they were calling for lows of 30 and it actually got down to zero. That's not counting wind chill. So I think they were originally calling for a low of 30 and then wind chill down around 20, 25. But it actually got down to zero plus high winds on top of that. So definitely sub-zero degrees. I uh, took my shirt off, put this parka or poncho on, then put my shirt over top of it. And because it's polypropylene, you will warm up very quickly. With that being said, you will also sweat very quickly. So keep that in mind because hypothermia is probably worse than being cold.